Hello everyone, our God Moves Mountains. Your merch, photo, and video submissions, John, is moving on and sending our thanks. It's Wednesday, December 16th, and this is Quick Updates. Our God Moves Mountains, the story behind the Association for Reform Political Action is the title of this new book written by Mark Penninga. This past summer, while hiking on Elk Mountain, Mike and Mark stopped to talk about it. Hey everyone, it's Mike Shooten here, Director of Advocacy for ARPA Canada, and I'm with Mark Penninga. He's the Executive Director for ARPA Canada, and we're standing here at the top of Elk Mountain. Well, not quite at the top, we've just come down from the very top, found a suitable location here, and we want to talk to you this afternoon about something, a big project that Mark has been working on. Mark's been working on a book, and it's called Our God Moves Mountains. Now, Mark, can you share with our supporters why you chose this title and why you wrote a book at this time? What, what is the purpose of this exercise? Yeah, I'd be grateful to Mike. As we all know, it's been quite the year, 2020. And uh, one of the projects that I worked on through the lockdown of the pandemic was writing a book. I've been blessed with a lot of clippings, so research articles uh, that goes back years that's been sent to me. I looked through it, compiled a lot of it, and started writing. Now, one of the nuggets that I found in that research is a story about a man named Peter Jongeling. He's a parliamentarian from the Netherlands. He came across to Canada in the 1970s, and uh, he did a number of speeches throughout Canada about the prospects of political action in this country. And people asked him, you know, how should we go about this? His response was, if you don't have faith, don't start. If you do, our God moves mountains. And as I look back on the last five decades, and especially the last about 13, 14 years with ARPA Canada, that's exactly what we've seen time and time again. It's such an encouraging story, and I wanted to share that with the people who've, who've stood behind ARPA Canada since it started. Many of you will be receiving a copy of this book in your donor packages. Let us know what you think. Now, if you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, well, the ARPA merchandise has been landing on doorsteps. We've received many submissions from our supporters wearing these new items. Check it out. Thank you, ARPA. thrilled that so many people made purchases of this God Keep Our Land merchandise. Don't worry if you missed out this time, we will be reopening the store again next year. The new year will be bringing some staffing changes around the office. For three years, John has been legal counsel for ARPA Canada. John joins us to reflect on his time with ARPA. Thanks, Colin. It's been an honor, a privilege, and a joy to work at ARPA for these past four years, uh, even though the work is often challenging and the issues are weighty. During my time here, I've had the opportunity to work with ARPA's fine team on issues like access to abortion data, changes to family law, euthanasia, legal cases involving freedom of the church, and much more. Uh, I'll miss the frequent discussions with colleagues on a wide range of theological and political issues. I'll, work, I'll miss working uh, as part of this team. But I am glad that I will get to remain involved in the work of defending religious freedom in my new capacity as a litigation lawyer at a Christian law firm. Uh, finally, I would like to thank ARPA for hiring me, uh, for keeping me for over four years, uh, and I'd like to thank you for supporting ARPA's important work. I pray that God would continue to bless ARPA's work, its staff, uh, its supporters in the future, um, and may it bring him glory. Thank you. Thanks so much, John. We wish you blessings in your new role. Now, we've been following developments in the House of Commons and the Senate on files like C7 and C6. And Mike has some thoughts on what we can do over the holidays. Thanks, Colin. Yes, we just want to take this opportunity to thank you, our supporters, so much for the work that you have done in helping us bring valuable talking points into the conversations around Bill C6 and C7. We also want you to know that the opposition, and by that we mean all the people who are not Liberal MPs advocating for these, these pieces of legislation, how they have been so good to work with throughout the course of uh, these bills making their way through the House of Commons. If you would like to come alongside us in sending them 
a note of thanks as we wish them Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year for the work that they've done on these bills, please email us at info at arpacanada.ca. Back to you, Colin. Thanks so much, Mike. That's it for quick updates this week. Thanks to you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.